Good afternoon. I bring greetings and congratulations from the Board of Governors of Antioch University. Our role as governors is to ensure the long-term health of all five campuses across the nation so that each student, no matter which campus, can experience a transformative education. Governors are volunteers, and we serve the mission of Antioch University. As Nancy mentioned, I'm the new governor. I've been a governor for a year now. Uh, and I'm not an Antiochian by diploma, but I am an Antiochian by heart. And the reason is the call of social justice, which appeals to my Quaker background. And also the call is to the graduate education, which is for the purpose of advancing humanity. And that inspires me to come to Antioch University and give my time to training. I believe that each one of you today is graduating well equipped to advance humanity and make the world a better place for all living things in your own way. And that's really the message I'd like to leave with you, to find your calling, fulfill your purpose with this education. Seek with anticipation that profound sense that you're living out your purpose. This is not the same as being in the right job or the right career because those things change several times. Rather, living your purpose means being engaged fully, mind, body, spirit, and work that really feels aligned with who you are, with your essence. Work becomes a full expression of you and your spirit. For example, the way I talk about the purpose of my work is that I help organizations be a place where the human spirit grows and flourishes. It's not nibbled away like a, like a pack in a Where the human spirit grows and flourishes and achieves great results. So I work with executives, I work with boards to keep them in relationship with each other. Keep them in touch with their own humanity while they do the work of running their organization. Sometimes I have to make difficult decisions. Here at Antioch, You've been exposed to a lot of large issues that confront individuals, families, social systems, even the planet. So you may be wondering, you may have concerns about several needs, and here I'm saying, have a single focus calling, have a single purpose. Well, how can you justify that in a world where there's so much need? I wondered the same thing, and I found a quote from a Quaker scholar. Perhaps this will help you in appreciating your narrow focus to focus this person said, personal purpose is one's share of the joyous burdens of love. So let me say that again. Personal purpose is one's share of the joyous burdens of love. He continued, toward a multitude of good things that we do, toward them we will feel kindly. But we are dismissed. Hear that. We are dismissed from active service in most of them. And we have an easy mind in the presence of desperately real needs which are not our direct responsibility, our direct calling, because others will attend to them. Engage fully in your calling, find your purpose, live your purpose, and expect the same from your other colleagues here today. The Board of Governors is very proud of you, and we hold you to the high expectations of Antioch University. Congratulations on your success.